we know in 1933 is when the Social Security card came about. And let's understand why. Uh, the United States Corporation had stolen the gold of the people. And somebody had to step in. When they went bankrupt, there was a an organization that stepped in. Now, part of it had to do with the federal government, but the Hague, a lot of y'all know of this organization called the Hague, and they had to step in and regulate this bankruptcy that the United States went under. And in doing so, they had to give benefits to the people because the United States Corporation had stolen the money from the people of the United States of America. Let's be clear about that. There's still this Republic side, this federal side, and then here's the United States Corporation that's under bankruptcy. Well, the deal was, all right, what we gotta do is establish some rules such that you need to pay these people back. So here you got this thing called a social security card. Now, the way this works is there's a birth certificate that whereby there's a bond established. And you put this bond on record with the United States Corporation, which really is like a great big credit union. That's what it is. So it's holding your estate that's coming from the federal government, whereby there's money for this United States Corporation to take care of the people. That's why it's called a social security. It used to be an account. It has funds in it. But they stopped calling it an account, they just called it a number. Because this was your credit card. That social security number was your credit card number. So what happened is, you were supposed to be able to access those funds with that social security number, because you had a social security account associated with it. So when they get that birth certificate bond, those estate, those funds, are set aside for you in an account that's denoted by your all capital letter name and that social security number that is an estate for you and the United States Corporation is the trustee of those funds.